It was inevitable that the client would pop up again. There had been a meeting scheduled after all, and she hadn't come across as easy to rattle. There were only a half dozen people in the world who could perform an extraction, who could pull a person's mind out of the virtual space of the swim, even if they didn't want to go quietly. It meant this potential client's options were limited. If she'd gotten all the way down the list of experts to Eliza's name, it meant she was serious. McKay's first action, once safely away, was ask the overlay to pull all the woman's salient details, and the AI had come up empty. Contradictions. No presence meant she was likely covered by one of the big three intelligence agencies. Anything involving those guys means you're back under the microscope again. Having U.S. Infocom breathing down your neck was no fun, and they were the good guys of the lot. If they were involved, you could bet that Euro Intech and the Ministry were keeping tabs as well. It had taken her years of staying under the radar to even be able to leave the U.S. without a check-in or a phone call. McKay wasn't interested in revisiting that state of affairs if she could help it. Back when she still had all her programming licenses intact, she'd been able to afford the lawyers to save herself. That effort had burned through almost every asset she had saved up. Extractions didn't pay well enough for her to survive a second round of deep investigation. Spread-eagled on the hotel bed, overlay open wide to the swim, soaking up the aircon and catching up with her billing, McKay felt the woman enter the lobby nearly 35 stories below. Found me already.